Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. We're out here at the range, but we're not shooting today because I'm out here just to show you the Gray Man tactical panels that I've got in the Bugmobile here. So let's take a look at that. Now, before we get started, I want you to take a look at everything that's on there, on the outside of it there, and then everything that's over here inside most of that i had in the bed here in a bucket i didn't of course have it in the uh, pouches on there but most of that was here in the bed in a bucket strapped down hoping that it didn't fly all over the place because sometimes it did so gray man tactical was kind enough to send me out these panels for a custom installation on this and i got just about everything that I carried in there in the buckets up here on the panels and secured. And I've been running it around here for a month or so now. Everything has stayed in the exact position that I put it in. So let's take a look here, see how much this is holding. Give you a little idea of my custom installation here. And just take a look at it. So first of all, they sent me three different panels. Two of them are the 15 by 21s that I used for the uprights here. And then I have a large 13 by, I think it was 34, that goes across the bottom and I have bolted them all together so everything is tied in. Uh, as you can see up here, these are their mounting screws. They come with a little rubber washer on the back of them. This one's a little loose. That one's tight over there. They also have a little nylon spacer that goes behind them to hold it out from whatever you're mounting to. So you've got some space to move your uh, straps behind it. Now, as I said, mine was a completely custom installation. We've got the two 15 by 21 panels with upright. We've got the 33 or 34 by 13 as a crossbar going across there. I did go out and get this aluminum flat rod or flat bar here and drill that myself to give this a little more rigidity since it was such a long span across here. They make steel panels or steel bars for some of their panels for stiffeners if you've got a lot of weight that you're going to put on there, but they didn't have anything that was going to be the whole 57 inches across here. so. I made my own just out of aluminum, and like I said, everything is held up good here. Now, as you can see, we've got my trauma kit up here. This is just on there as a tearaway pouch on it. So when I'm down here on the range, I always have my trauma kit down here with me. Got a tape measure down here, just hooked into the RMP there. In case I need to measure something, got the little clippers on here. I've got a big knife on there. We've got my uh, branch trimming saw on here if I need that. Over here, I've got a knife sharpener in there, which is the um, work sharp field sharpener in this case. They sent me the quick fist grip on here to hold a the fire extinguisher I did have to go to the second notch on there to keep it from bouncing and sliding down a little bit now it is absolutely held secure hasn't moved at all from the position that it's in before it would just slide down if I was only on this first notch but it would hold it in there just not as tight to keep it up and off the metal down there at the bottom back here we've got a panel here that's got just a little e-tool in it nothing fantastic little disposable milwaukee knife in there in here we've got some tools and other stuff for adjusting um the chainsaw chain on there got my little hatchet here we've got another knife in here i've got a couple little pull through sharpeners just for the for the uh, machetes here. We've got some gloves, some nitrile gloves over in this pack 
over here. Of course, we've got the bug spray and flashlight in there. We've got a nice big thing of washed spray in there, some shovels in there, a little cultivating tool here, Milwaukee actually insulation knife, but I use it for other stuff out here. Got a different set of clippers, got a different uh, pruning saw, got some tags here for marking stuff out there, and another just Gerber machete here. And of course, as you can see, I've got just a little bit of extra space on there now. I do lose some at the bottom here. I have to keep, these are about as low as I can get them to still come up and get past that it did get past i just got to tuck them in a little bit when i'm lifting it not a big deal i may even raise these up as you can see we've still got another spot or so that i can raise them up i kept them there so that i keep myself a little open spot there to see out the back of because i did lose a lot of visibility putting these on there but i also gained my whole bed back by having the stuff up there so as you can see, I've got a ton of stuff on these panels completely out of my bed. I've got my whole bed here. I don't have to worry about taking the bucket out if I need to use the bed for anything. The bed is empty and clear. Everything is up there, out of the way. My gear is conquered. As I said, this was a completely custom installation for me. Your mileage may vary. They do have some more standard configurations. They've got the seat back one, which I will link to Snob's video on that. Should be over here, maybe. So you can take a look at that. That thing looks amazing. I may end up getting one of those as well for my seat back in the truck. This was more useful to me right now. I like how it turned out. I love the fact that it's completely taken everything out of the bed here, got it up there, easy to get to completely organized i've got some patches coming in so i can definitely mark what's in those and i'm happy with it this thing has been tooling around with me for the last month or so in the bugmobile nothing's moved nothing's gone everywhere go over there to gray man tactical check them out they've got some great stuff over there like i said they've got the more standard configurations for people you can take a look at their panels if you've got a utv and you want to build your own custom configuration they got that over there as well it's extremely rigid if you've got it mounted through all the holes like i said i got a big open spot here so i used a piece of aluminum flat bar to give this a little more rigidity if you are mounting this completely to something you're using all these holes to mount it to something this thing is not going anywhere it's not going anywhere here either so go over check out snobs video on the seat back version of their rmps that looks incredible check out gray man tactical see if they've got some panels over there or some other things that you might be able to put to use i'm really happy with them we'll catch you guys on the next one